Welcome back to the 918 channel. Today, we're gonna to be showing our five best discs in our bag. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start with my stack of discs. Again, this is our five best discs, not favorites, although they can be categorized in the same way. These are my five best, starting out with my Midnight Proud 2. This thing has been in my bag for two years. Absolute flip dog, but a controllable flip dog. Just hyzer flip through the woods, perfect for shot shaping. Midnight Proud 2. Second disc is another mid-range, and that is the Pyro. I forgot who it was that put me on the Pyros, but ever since I've had this one in my bag, it has not come out. Just a nice, stable to overstable mid-range. Trustworthy, in the wind, can't have it, cannot have it, Wait, how am I trying to say it? Can't have it not in the bag. Is that right? Sounds right. It's in the bag, not coming out. You guys get the gist. Then moving on to fairways. I have a Brave. Bought this disc on a whim because of the way that it felt in my hand, but it also has a little bit of dome to it. It's a seven speed, um, five, negative one, two. And it's true to its numbers. And honestly, I throw this just about as far as some of my distance drivers, which is why I don't have a distance driver in my lineup. But the Brave is a good one. Probably my best fairway in my bag. It makes him very courageous. Courageous. And brave. Roadrunner of the Halo variant. This I always have to have one of these in the bag. Shout out I, to the real OG. The real OG, the red, the red monster. He is no longer with us. This guy has been a perfect replacement for it. If you can find the Halo ones with a little bit of little bit of dome to them they're money and last but not least rounding out my five best is my sexton firebird 21 sexy bird stamp is uh fading away it's a bad captain at this point doesn't fly like a firebird and that's why i like it good for forehands can get a little bit more distance with my forehands on these and use it for backhand and forehand just a really versatile disc i'll see what jacobs five best discs are in his bag. Taylor didn't mention it, but we aren't including our putters in the five discs. This is just kind of a, obviously you're gonna use a putter. P2, if you're curious. Good call. First best disc, and mine probably go into also kind of favorites as well, but gonna be the Fuse. This thing has been in my bag for a very long time. Um, it's my version of my mid-range flip dog. And uh, sometimes it doesn't like to flip when I don't throw it properly. So for a while there I was struggling. And it's not this disc's fault, it's uh, definitely the Archer, not the Arrow. Next up, we're gonna go with the Quake. Uh, Quake's been in the bag for quite some time. Overstable disc kind of complements Taylor's Pyro that he has in this slot. Though this is a little bit straighter when I first got it, had a little bit more stability, but I've come to rely on that straight to late fade. Big fan of the Quake. My bag captain, and probably the seven speed version of Taylor's Brave, an Avery Jenkins T-Bird, 168 gram, this thing still has stability to this day, will fight straight for a very long time, and then still have a reliable fade at the end. When you get a little bit of headwind, you can count on a little bit of turn out of it, so really a big fan of this disc on pretty much any holes, 350 and in. Really love this T-Bird. Old end of a plastic at its finest. Very true. Next up, newer addition to the bag, Millennium Draco. Very, very fun disc. Love the stability on this thing. The blunt nose on it is incredible and pretty much just covers your left to right shot, right to left, whatever you need, forehand, backhand, the Draco has got you covered. And last but not least, probably uh, a newer favorite since they came out really, uh, the uh, Innova Charger, big fan. Basically is your stock destroyer that's been beat in uh, to the perfect amount, nice and seasoned. You'll get that nice little flip up. You can throw it on Anheuser, trust that it will still fight out of it as long as there's no wind to come into play. This thing bombs for me. Probably throw it about 430 to 450 if I get max flight out of it. But absolutely love this disc. Now let's get into the video. Nine hole loop here at Twin Bridges. You guys haven't seen it in a while. Uh, and it's been very prettified for the Junior Worlds Championships that came to town just a couple weeks ago. Absolutely incredible. Can't wait to show you guys the nine holes that we played today. And we're gonna start by showing off the beautiful new course here at hole one, par three, 350 feet. It's a doozy of a two if you can get it. Uphill down the initial fairway and it's finished left and the basket's going to be tucked on the middle of the hillside there. So it's always good to get a three, but it feels even better to get a two. Now I know what you guys are thinking that I might be at a disadvantage of not having a distance driver, but I'm telling you guys, I throw this just as far. It is, when it's, is actually facts. When it's thrown good. So we're gonna start here. 
with the braid. Also, shout out these T-pads are James Conrad proof. Look how long they are. Oh, nice little flip up. Get, get inside. Through. Get inside of it. Ooh. It didn't get inside. That's the tree to get past, and he didn't get past it. As I said, within 350 feet, then go the T-bird. Again, similar just to uh, the Brave. That looks like a correction if I've ever seen it. I actually think that might be the best drive I've ever had on this hole. No approach discs in my five best discs. Rome Pyro. Hey, no approach discs for me either, honestly. We don't need them, we're too good. Yeah, facts. Guess that tree, get up that hill. Kind of got it skip on a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, those curbs up there, man, they do some things to you. Some people would say they're not a fan of the curbs. I get it. Me, I like the aesthetics of the course. Twin's always been my favorite course in the Tulsa area, so keep your slander away from me. That is one heck of a drive right there by Jacob. The only problem is I got a straddle. So. <laughs> not, not only is fun. It definitely looked like first putt of the day. Muffed it, muffed <laughs> it. Good putt. Final macula. All right, hole five, we're playing from the long position. 535 foot par four. Plays down and then dog leg to the left. The biggest thing to avoid off the tee is obviously this tree on the right hand side hanging down and holding diagonal. And then the tee sign and the trees on the left hand side. If you end up in the rough on the left, it's still pretty easy to bogey. So you don't want to do that. Which is why it is the perfect hole for me to just throw a pyro. So all I have to do is just throw straight. No, it's not going to go over the edge and it's going to hook left. Executed. I mean, that looks pretty good. That's why it's in my best five, all right? Pyro is a magician. Same idea, Quake. I got down there pretty far and then went to the left right at the end like you want, so should be good. Pretty ideal landing spot right here. Leave it to me to mess it up. Hit this gap again with the pyro. Don't think I've ever gone pyro pyro on this hole, so that would be a cool little individual accomplishment for myself. Yeah. Oh no. Bye, pyro. <laughs> that is a uh, danger over there. It's one thing you gotta look out for when you're in the spareway is those trees. They don't care about your disc. They don't care where they throw it. I've lost a handful on this. That pyro, hopefully is not in danger of being lost. All right, just like Taylor, I'm gonna be going back to uh, my overstable mid. Quick time. I'll miss it. You know, I at least have a putt and I'm not in danger of losing my disc. <laughs> not cool, dude. I wanted to go pyro, pyro, birdie, but now I have the opportunity to go pyro, 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 par. So that's cool, I guess. Or just throw it in. Almost, dude. Cool. Big guy? No. Oh. It's been feeling good from this range, though. It's been feeling real good. It's been looking good, I'll tell you that. Hey, it's not thanks. the only thing that's been looking good. <laughs> Am I right? All right. As Taylor taps out with his pyro, this is a fourth shot. P squared, P cubed. I don't know what it would be to the fourth, but... P to the second power, P to the third power. What would P to the fourth power be? Fourth dimension pyro. There's your next disc. <laughs> New tour series coming soon. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some custom stamped P4 pyros. Let's be honest, pyros are never in stock no matter where you try to get them from. That is true. I think it would take a year to actually get custom stamped pyros in, so... Axiom MVP, if you're watching this, I really like the pyro. Just saying... Jumping over to hole seven, our hole three, par three, 275 feet, tight line off the tee. You definitely want to go overstable. And even though it's not as overstable as it once was, this disc can still work for it. Throw it on hyzer, kind of count on the skip to give yourself a look. Let's see if it uh, is a firebird that it's been all these years. Even though it's only been one year, I lied to you guys, sorry. Might be too deep. Uh, depending on the skip, that could be really good or it's too deep. I don't like how that ended up. I think that's too deep and I don't have a putt. But it still flew good. But it still flew good. It still flew good, Cletus. You mean well. You mean well. Now it flew good. 
Draco. You'll see us probably matching lines a lot. Our games Being are very similar. Very, very similar, and also we have five discs to work with, guys. No! It needed to get past that tree, and it would have been incredible. I would have probably aced. 100%. Might be in danger here, because we can't use our putters to approach. Also, I am without a forehand right now. I somehow injured my left shoulder. That's and his non-throwing arm, by the way. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, I'm working on it through therapy. You can laugh in the comments. Ha <laughs> ha. I have nothing but a backhand from here, and uh, trees in the way, so we're gonna go patent pending. Cash? You know, that little rollout probably helped me a ton. It's a putt at least. Was this close from needing a scythe to find my disc? Luckily, it's right on the edge. We have a putt. We don't have a birdie this round, do we? No, we don't. We don't? Now would be the time, and this is your range. Well, now we do. That's actually really close. I thought I cashed it. Man, I hate disc golf sometimes. Told you. Take our bogey. We'll move on. It's five best discs, not five best putts, all right? I wish it was five best putts. <laughs> oh, God. It's the switchback, dude. <laughs> It's the switchback. Dude, I don't know why, but that absolutely scared the crap out of me. I just see something moving. It was his Jacob's bag falling over. I thought it was under attack. Yeah, guys, the squash bag after three years, it has no integrity. It falls over all the time. I wouldn't do that. People have always said, like, it's slippery. That is legit my first time slipping. All right, you're lucky you uh, you made that. All right, hole nine, our hole four, 300 foot par three. Blind off the tee, plays out and then down to the right. One that I usually rely on a forehand for. I don't have access to that tool today, so we're gonna go backhand turnover with a fuse. Time to get technical. I have, I myself have been going forehand a little bit more since I've developed it, but I'm gonna trust the Midnight Prowl. I love these shots with this disc. That's too straight. I mean, it's understable, but that's gonna be a probably 50 footer, too deep. Will thou show me how it's done? Yes. I don't think I've ever seen a disc on Anheuser just fight towards the ground as fast as that fuse did. That sucked. <laughs> that had intentions. Short. That's sick, dude. Hello in there. Hello. Couple cage guys. I don't know why I try. It's like every time I miss like that, it's just like in here at this point. I just want to like, probably how I injured myself, guys. Oh, just yeah. Absolutely ripping them into the basket. It's a good way to get off frustration, but it's also, in your case, a good way to hurt your shoulder. Hole 13, hour hole 5 is a par 3, 370 feet. Out underneath these trees, branches, whatever you want to call them at this point. And it's just placed right there on the hillside. Again, don't have a distance driver, but I'm going Roadrunner because I have all the confidence in the world in this disc. <laughs> We're going to go Charger, down a stroke, need it back. Oh. Right out of it. Well, it's like a. 45 footer that I'll probably miss. The Taylor. shot was so bad, this should honestly count as out of bounds. It really should. Like, you should have to at least make it across the pavement. I mean, at least you made it to the youth tee pad. But you know what we always say? It's never a bad shot, it's just an opportunity for a highlight set up for this. Short! Yeah. Yeah, it was a bad shot. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, pick up my disc and. Uh, Probably not talk for the rest of this hole. Oh, dude, I like had sweat on the bottom of my finger as I came up. You know, I'm done with the excuses. I suck. Guys, he's actually so annoying. Look at him. Look how annoying he is. All right, hole 15, our hole six, 255 foot par three plays right up there. Triple Mando through the bridge. Still Taylor's box, let's see what he does with it. Going my midnight prowl here. It's a very flippy disc. 
I don't like that I'm feeling a right to left headwind right now. Pray for me in this disc. Oh. Oh, a little ramp skip into the into the circle. That's the first time that's ever come into play. A lot of people don't like that there's like a ramp, but honestly it sets up a little cool like forehand roller ace opportunity, which don't know why you'd ever do unless it was a funzy shot, but it's there. Hey, it's okay to not take the same score on every hole now, all right? Palms dry, knees are steady. Let's put so this putter in the basket already. He didn't even look at it, he just knew. Once you put your own uh, twist on Eminem lyrics, it's only a matter of time before you just enter God mode. He's right here. Oh, it's okay, buddy, he didn't mean it. <laughs> here at hole 16, our hole seven, Par four, 725 feet, way out there to the left and back to the right, kind of snakes its way down there. I haven't put on for the Roadrunner at all, and you guys are probably disappointed. I'm disappointed myself. It's time. It's time to send it. <laughs> well, that's usually where my drives go. It's coming back. The trees are gonna block the shot the entire way. You might've seen it at the end. Anything to say for yourself? Uh, other than I'm uh, channeling my inner Nate Safeton. Just went out to the right, faded by the trees down there. Still sets up an opportunity for a three, so get off my case. All right, I'm gonna break down the aggressive play as best I can. Where the road comes into the fairway, kind of goes back out, to clear all of that and end up in a good enough spot where you're not in the ditch and you have decent footing, 435. Prime opportunity for the charger to make its case. That's not what I'm talking about. That's like a little safer play, but as you can see, it's still fought out. I, I put something into that. And it's down there, so. It's a good shot. Yeah, it was a great shot. I mean, it looked like you got past it somehow. Still a very long putt. I got scared. All right, I'm gonna say like 400 feet from here, slightly downhill, so definitely reachable. I'm gonna go with the T-Bird. Just throw it into the rough on the right-hand side and just put myself hopefully in position for a putt. Right over top of it. Ah! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can honestly say I have not birdied this hole going fairway, fairway, so I said the same thing on hole five about the pyro. I should just shut my mouth at this point. I mean... You even told yourself, you got a tailwind, Taylor. I mean... At least I'm consistently bad. Consistently inconsistent, all right? You're not bad. Hole 17, our hole 8, 215 feet up on the whale, right there. Well, it's Taylor's box, let's see what he does with it. I'm going pyro, throw it left inside that tree on the right, and let it smash the chains. If I go past the basket, that's my fault. <laughs> what are you feeling? I think you're feeling some gas, buddy. Hey, we switched it up for a hole. I'm gonna go fuse. Somehow I ace ran and also put it close. That usually doesn't happen. Still an opportunity to tie this up, push it to a playoff. Gotta make this putt first though. Straddle time. Yep. I will say I'm four for four today on straddle putts. It's all about committing. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, as if I just kind of, you know, just a little, then it, I, and then you I'm guys can't there. see the look of disgust on my face right now. I don't know what <laughs> is, but it's not good. Is it, uh, you've seen that episode on SpongeBob where like, <laughs> see ya <laughs> later. <laughs> this is hole 18, our hole nine, 
par four, 540 feet. We've got a narrow gap off the tee. Want to get it to finish left, or honestly, just throwing it as straight as possible. You're going to set yourself up for a uh, chance to get in a chip shot to the green and get a birdie. Two stroke lead, a lot of things can happen on this hole. It's definitely a separator hole. And go Roadrunner, Old Faithful. Get lucky. It's just going right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I got a flare. I'm pretty sure I'm in hole seven's fairway, rough off to the left. Big time here. I can't focus on what Taylor did. I gotta focus on what I can do. Fact. I'm gonna go T-Bird. Try to play it as straight as possible. Like Taylor said, that's the goal. Oh, baby. Get off of it. It's actually just fine. That's perfect. Good spot to be in. Very good spot. All right, well, Taylor's the luckiest disc golfer in Tulsa, so probably not going to have an opportunity to, to tie it up. But this is important for my pride. We're going to go a quake up that right-hand side, have it fade towards the basket at the end. That's all I want. Finish off with a birdie. Actually, not a bad kick. I think I'm inside the circles. Yeah, so you get to see that uh, you can be bad and still end up in a really good spot. Look at this. And I'm just like squared up with this left side gap, which I'm going to perform with my uh, Firebird right now. And, well, you know, it's not a normal Firebird, though I do have a new one in the back now that's more overstable, but. <sighs> you still got me by one, even if I birdie. We call it a tester, but you're actually putting pretty well today. I hit the tree behind that tree. I don't... Okay. So I'm going to hit this putt, put the pressure on Taylor. I don't think he's going to miss, but you never know. Crazier things have happened. I still feel pressure, though. Lefty? May as make well, dude. Make things interesting. Does he even need to putt with his dominant hand? That is going to do it for Jacob and I's five best discs in our bag. Let us know in the comments what five of your favorite discs is, because we would be intrigued to see what you guys throw. As always, guys, we appreciate you guys tuning in, and until the next one, we'll catch you guys later. Double point.